In this video, we are going to learn the third angle theorem. Now the third angle theorem has to do with two triangles. So let's start by drawing two triangles. Now the situation when the third angle theorem applies is if you already know that two pairs of, tri two pairs of angles between the two triangles are congruent. So for example, if this angle was 20 degrees and it had a corresponding angle in the other triangle that was 20 degrees and also this angle was 75 degrees and 75 degrees then we can apply the third angle theorem and what the third angle theorem says is that if you have a situation like this where two pairs of angles are congruent then the third pairs of angles must be congruent as well. And this should make sense because once you know two angles in a triangle, you can use the triangle sum theorem to find the third angle. So if we wanted to figure out the third angle in the triangle on the left, we would do 180 minus 75 minus 20 and get our answer, which is 85. So this angle is 85. Now if we wanted to find the third angle in the other triangle, we would do the same exact calculation. So we would also end up getting 85. So of course, the third pair of angles are congruent as well. So as long as two pairs of angles are congruent, such as 20 and 75, then the third pair of angles will always have to be congruent as well. Now keep in mind this applies even if you don't know the exact numbers for the angle measurements. So for example, if we had these two triangles, and we didn't have any numbers, but it was marked that we had one angle that was congruent and another pair of angles that was congruent, you could say, even without knowing any numbers, that these third pair of angles would have to be the same due to the third angle theorem which is really a result of the triangle sum theorem.